Has the U.S. government ever claimed that torture is an effective interrogation technique that saves lives? This question may be surprising, but it's time to dive into the historical timeline of the U.S. government's use of torture. The United States, often seen as a beacon of human rights and democracy, has a darker side to its history. The use of torture as an interrogation technique has been a contentious issue, stretching back to the roots of the nation. During the Revolutionary War in the late 18th century, both sides employed brutal tactics, including torture. However, it was during the American Civil War where the conversation about torture shifted. The Union Army was accused of using torture techniques against Confederate soldiers to extract information. Fast forward to the 20th century World War II. The U.S. was again accused of using torture, this time against Japanese and German prisoners of war. The Cold War era saw the continuation of these practices, with the CIA's Project MK Ultra in the 1950s and 60s experimenting with mind control techniques that were nothing short of torture. But the most infamous chapter in this dark history came with the War on Terror following the horrific attacks on September 11, 2001. The Bush administration, in its quest to prevent further attacks, approved the use of enhanced interrogation techniques, a euphemism for torture. The world was shocked when the abuses at Abu Ghraib prison came to light in 2004. In 2009, President Obama came to office promising change. He denounced torture and vowed to end its use. However, the reality was more complicated. While he did officially ban torture, allegations of its continued use persisted. Why is torture wrong? It's a violation of human rights, it's counterproductive, and it's morally repugnant. The most egregious instances of torture carried out by the U.S. include waterboarding, sensory deprivation, and physical abuse. These practices are not just cruel and inhumane, they also yield unreliable information. To summarize, the U.S. has a long and complex history with the use of torture. Despite official denouncements and bans, allegations of its use persist. The moral, ethical, and practical arguments against torture are compelling. Yet it seems to remain a tool in the darker corners of American intelligence operations. So, where does the U.S. stand today? It's a murky picture, officially torture is not sanctioned. But allegations and reports of its continued use in covert operations persist. The question remains, is the U.S. still practicing torture? The answer is as complex as the history itself. Officially, no. Unofficially, the shadows tell a different story. And in the end, it's a question of morality and humanity, a question that continues to challenge the conscience of the nation.